Last July, we challenged you to think about how technology can drive better sustainability in our lives and the world we inhabit. That's right, Robert. At ARM, we believe in bringing brilliant people together to spark the world's potential. We're committed to influencing and shaping the way that technology is being used to deliver a more sustainable future. So we launched a competition and we asked you to use great new ARM technology and your own engineering skills to design and produce a prototype that tackles a real life sustainability issue. I'm delighted to welcome ARM's Global Sustainability Strategy Director, Hilary Tam, who joins us from London. Hilary, welcome. And I have my first question for you here. Why did you decide to focus on sustainability for this year's Dev Summit Developer Competition? Thanks, Robert and Brian. Happy to be here. Sustainability is at the top of every business agenda across all industries. The reality is we are now operating with an, a resource-constrained and carbon-intense planet. The only businesses that are going to be fit for the future are the ones that are having a positive impact on the world. And if we think about the makeup of businesses like ARM and those of our ecosystem partners, it's the incredible community of hardware designers and software developers who will usher in the next generation of solutions that are going to help address some of the world's most complex challenges. This is really one of the most exciting innovation opportunities of our time. So this year, we wanted to focus the competition on how technology can drive better sustainability with this bigger picture in mind. Hillary, the competition for the top slot was intense. What were you and the judges looking for? As you know, we had a very impressive panel of judges this year, and it was definitely not an easy decision. In addition to the realistic feasibility of the solution, and of course, its effective use of ARM technology, from the sustainability perspective, we were really looking at the potential of the solution to make progress on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. These are 17 global goals which aim to create a better, fairer world for everyone by 2030. Did the solution set out to address a genuine global challenge? How unique and innovative is it? Is there anything else like it out there that's already making a difference on the ground or is it a new idea we've not really come across before? We also asked how sustainable is the solution itself from how it's powered to the physical components involved? We were really looking for a novel, promising idea with a lot of thought and care into designing and developing a solution to tackle a global problem in both technology and sustainability. So Hillary, don't go anywhere, stay with us. Right now, we're gonna look at the top three shortlisted entries. So all three of these entries are guaranteed a prize. Now it's the all important moment where we ask you, Hillary, to name the winner of the ARM Dev Summit Developer Competition. Okay, are we ready? 
So the winner of this year's Dev Summit competition goes to Pratush Malik from Analog Devices and the Jewel Beetle Wildlife Detection Solution. Congratulations. This is awesome. How do you feel? I, I feel very good. And first of all, thanks for um, for hosting this event. Having a project uh, built around the purpose of solving cl climate change and achieving sustainable goods, I guess this is more of an innovative idea and it's kind of a, a step towards the right direction. So all that hard work has paid yeah. off for you. You've won $5,000 cash plus one year Oracle cloud credits, Raspberry Pi 400 kits, and four Raspberry Pi Pico. How does that feel? <laughs> I have a lot of, uh, I guess, a uh, lot of inventory now for uh, for proceeding my projects, I guess. That's awesome to hear about you. So I'm, I'm actually really interested in hearing a little bit more about your project. Could you kind of give us an idea of what you built? So what happens is uh, there are existing forest fire solutions, but it takes, uh, uh, it takes around one or two hours for actually to get an alert. Uh, about the forest fire and the place where the forest fire has taken place. So what I have done is I have proposed a solution that uh, uses uh, solar energy to power itself and then measure environmental parameters such as temperature, humidity, and carbon monoxide. And uh, having a correlation between them, uh, we can actually uh, find out if there is a possibility of fire or not. That's amazing. So Hillary, tell us a little bit about what stood out in the judges' minds in this entry. Yeah, this entry, which is so fantastic. While all the global goals are interconnected, we know that the climate crisis is the number one threat facing humanity. And we're already feeling the impacts now. So from California to British Columbia, from the Amazon to Australia, we've witnessed some of the most devastating forest fires ever recorded. So for us, the jewel beetle really stood out because not only could it help from a climate adaptation perspective, the jewel beetle could also help with the mitigation of climate change as frequent wildfires lead to large amounts of carbon being released into the atmosphere. Yeah, so Pratyush, I want to offer you a big congratulations on behalf of us here at the ARM TV studio and everyone at Dev Summit. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations. And Hillary, thank you for joining us. And please pass on our thanks to all the panel of judges. Keep your eye out on ARM socials for news of other great ARM competitions coming your way soon.